Other news now tonight, police are investigating the death of a man after a shooting outside the Walmart in Manaka. The man who died, though, wasn't the one who was shot. He was someone who reportedly was trying to help the shooting victim and ended up dead after an incident that reportedly involved a police officer. Jennifer Barresso spoke with state police and a man who was at that Walmart last night. Jennifer. And state police can tell me that they plan to interview the Center Township police officer Wednesday to get his side of the story about what happened outside of that Walmart. Meantime, the family has hired an attorney. He wants that police officer fired and charged. Sunday night, police responded to an active shooter call at the Walmart in Manaka, where a 20 year old man was shot. Attorney Joel Sansone told reporters Kenneth Vineyard, who was seen on the ground in orange, was helping the shooting victim when a man in plain clothes, he says, demanded Vineyard step away from the victim. Vineyard, he says, told the man he was trying to help and make his way to his fiance, who was nearby. Sansone claims the off duty officer violently pushed Vineyard to the ground, causing him to slam his head on the pavement. His fiance began chest compressions. He was rushed to a hospital where he later died. Ryan Beatrice describes what he saw outside the Walmart. I also noticed the um, older gentleman on the ground. Um, he was kind of motionless, you know, at that point. Um, it looked like somebody was trying to perform um, CPR on him. He just, you know, definitely wasn't moving. You know, he had his um, one leg was bent and the other leg was flat. And, um, you know, he was kind of breathing, but it was, you know, sporadic. And um, I, you know, that's kind of what caught my eye and why I was just, you know, trying to see if he was okay. While our investigation is ongoing, this appears to me to be another instance of senseless police violence. There was no excuse for the officer involved to engage in any physical act, let alone a violent shove that caused the death of a man who was just trying to help another human being that he did not know. So sources telling me that that officer was off duty. He just happened to be at the Walmart last night. Now I'm told he works full time at Center Township and he is also a member of Beaver County's ESU team. That's the SWAT team. Now state police tell me that they have interviewed a lot of people already. Once again, they plan to interview that officer on Wednesday to get his side of the story. I'm told there's also body camera footage. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.